All right, let's start our discussion about granulocytes. Granulocytes are your white blood cells that contain granules, which are essentially secretory vesicles. You have three types of them. You have neutrophils, you have eosinophils, and you have basophils. Neutrophils refers to that in right staining, it gives a neutral color, and therefore the name neutrophil. Eosinophil will refer to that it prefers acidic dyes, uh, acidic uh, staining methods, and therefore it will get a quite bright red or pinkish color. Basophils will prefer basic dyes, and therefore it will give a more of a blue or purple color. Your neutrophils have many names, and it probably shows its importance. Uh, the different names include polymorph nuclear neutrophils, neutrophil granulocyte, or just neutrophils. These are your most common white blood cells. They make up 60 to 70 percent of the total amount, which ranges normally between four and a half and eleven thousand per microliter. So it's quite a lot. And uh, their lifespan is usually quite short in circulation, but is prolonged if it's actually working in your tissues. Remember, all of your blood cells are originating from the bone marrow. And you gotta consider, which are the most commonly seen blood cells in your bone marrow? It's actually white blood cells. If you compare it to red blood cells, in which you have approximately 5 million per microliter, but the difference is that uh, white blood cells are produced constantly because of their short lifespan. Remember that the uh, red blood cells lifespan is approximately 120 days. So white blood cells are constantly needed, therefore you will see a majority of white blood cells in your bone marrow. The function of your neutrophils are essentially antimicrobial function. But you will mainly focus on bacteria, so this will be your major cell that will uh, neutralize different types of bacteria. And uh, of course, it will be part of your second line of defense in which you will see uh, other cells and proteins such as complement uh, proteins or your phagocytes, which in which you also see the neutrophils. And the role of inflammation is, this is one of the first cells that you will see in uh, cellular events of inflammation. So, what does a, a neutrophil look like? You remember the name, polymorph nuclear neutrophil. This refers that it has multiple lobes. Uh, you see here all of these big cells, which are approximately between 10 and 15 micrometers in uh, diameter. These are your neutrophils. The concave shaped ones are your red blood cells and the small dots will be your platelets. The neutrophils uh, usually have between three and five lobes and therefore they are called polymorph nuclei, multiple lobe, multiple nuclei essentially. And you also see that uh, as the name suggests it has a very neutral color. Uh, it doesn't give an eosinophilic color or a basophilic color. So what do we find uh, in these granules of your neutrophils? You have two types of granules there. You have the primary granules, also known as the azurophilic uh, granules, in which you'll find different proteins such as myeloperoxidase, abbreviated MPO. The function of this one is uh, to convert hydrogen peroxide together with chloride ions into hypochlorous acid, which is essentially bleach. The function of it will be cytotoxic to bacteria. So this will essentially be one of the ways it will kill the bacteria. The other protein, phospholipase A2, uh, has the function of breaking the bacterial membrane, cellular membrane. Acid hydro uh, hydrolases are different types of proteins that work, pr uh, that preferably works in acidic conditions. These proteins can be phosphatases, sulfatases, nucleases, and so on. Elastase will destroy the extracellular elastin of the bacteria. The defensin will have the effect of helping to engulf uh, the bacteria and then eventually forming pores that will cause effusion of different nutrients that the bacteria require to survive. And eventually, in the, also in the primary granules, we will find bactericidal permeability increasing protein. And it's exactly as the name suggests. Bactericidal refers to bacterial killing. 
and it will increase the permeability so that more of the intracellular bacterial proteins are moved away from its cells and more fluid enters the bacteria and causing it to burst. Then you have your secondary granules which are also known as the specific granules. In the specific granules you will also find the lysozymes with the function of damaging the bacterial cell wall so that the different neutrophilic products can enter and destroy it thoroughly. Then you will see collagenases and as the name suggests this is an enzyme that will break down collagen. Uh, you will also see a protein called uh, lactophilin with the function of chelating iron molecules because iron is necessary for bacteria to survive. The same goes with vitamin B12 which is necessary for nuclear synthesis and if you will have a protein that will bind vitamin B12 away from the bacteria, the bacteria cannot grow. After the neutrophil has gotten rid of, of this infection, the neutrophils die and because of the excess of myeloperoxidase they release, this will form a substance that is initially green and protein rich and you will call it pus but later on you will see that it changes its color into a white gr white yellow like co color this is something you can usually see by when you wake up and you will see it in the inner side of your eyes but then if you have a collection of pus in uh, and eventually forming a cavity around it you will call it an abscess but if you already had a cavity and the pus is collected there, then you will change the term into empyema. So, eosinophils, uh, remember how it got its name by its affection to acidic dyes. It has a similar lifespan to a neutrophil, but a little bit prolonged when it gets into your tissue. This is much less common than neutrophils. If you see here, it's only 2-4% to of the total white blood cell levels. The major uh, role of it will be in allergic reactions and type 1 hypersensitivities. And also it will help in neutralizing helminth infection. Helminths are worms that are essentially parasites. It has uh, several important proteins, but the most important ones that you should remember are major basic protein and eosinophilic cationic protein. These can be very harmful to us, overuse of the eosinophils and overreaction of the eosinophils. And therefore, eosinophils are usually quite careful by releasing these proteins because they are quite harmful even to us and not just the helminths. And here you see a picture of an eosinophil surrounded by red blood cells and one platelet there. And you see that its cytoplasm is quite bright red and slightly pinkish. And therefore the name eosinophil. Finally, we have our basophils. These are the least common of your granulocytes and it's the least common of all of your white blood cells. The function of it will play a role in allergy. So how can you remember the function of basophil? Will be if you remember the function of mast cells by having IgE on its cell membrane and histamine for as an inflammatory mediator. Both of them are very similar in this way. But basophils has an, another pro, uh, important protein that plays an essential role called heparin. This is an anticoagulant pr protein that plays a major role in um, anticoagulation. Thank you.